What is up people? D here with Nerdactables. I figured I'd start this video where I started my very first video and kind of explain my situation. So where I'm at is what I considered the old Nerdactables headquarters, which was just pretty much a room in the house that I was living in. So um, let me flip it around and show you guys uh, how empty this place is right now. And I guess I uh, figured I'd just start where I actually started the last video and kind of just start at the stairs and let's work our way up. I got a couple uh, speakers here still here. I got my Atari here. That'll probably stick with me for a little bit. But uh, if you remember, this was loaded with magazines from pretty much one doorway all the way down to the other doorway. Got those all toted up. Now I just got a nice little Commodore 64 sitting here. Um, this room right here, this room was completely filled. I mean, it looks filled, but it's really not. That's two TVs, three totes of clean clothes, and, uh, some DVDs. But this place was just covered with, with stuff and everything. It was overflowing in there. You know, the shelves were overflowing. I pretty much just got this down to, uh, video game stuff and comic stuff. Stuff that I would, might want to list here, or the video game is, uh, actually dear to my heart. So... That collection staying close to me, you know, almost at all times. Oh, let's go back to the other room now. And we'll see that we still have at least a small pile of stuff. But this stuff was all in the closet last night. So here's this closet. This was stuff that was all up there. All down there and everything. And this stuff will be getting ready to get out and gone this weekend as well. But if you can see, the floor is virtually empty. Got my Thomas Kincaid stuff there because I'm trying to sell that stuff locally. But if you remember right, books were stacked oh, halfway up the wall and everything. So this is where I'm at right now. And I pretty much wanted to show you guys the process of this because uh, I kind of had to hit the fast forward button on uh, the operation and stuff. I didn't plan on doing any of this stuff for a couple more months. But something came up in life, uh, I'm not going to really get into that, that, you know, made me hit the fast forward button. So, I am going to be showing you guys the new Nerdactables headquarters and kind of giving you guys a tour there. So, I'll see you guys there in a second. Alright, finally taking some video inside of the new Nerdactables headquarters. I have been here for about a month. I kind of documented the uh, move a little bit on Instagram. There should be a link down below if you guys want to go uh, check that out. I didn't want to take any video just because I was kind of on a time restraint. Um, I know this has been in a month long period of time, but it's just been, I have a full time job and then um, I've just acquired so many items and everything. So uh, it's just been really time consuming of getting everything here. I still have a lot more time to put into this. I have to organize everything. But I really wanted to show you guys where I'm going to be working here for the new, oh, probably year or so. So I just wanted to show you guys around the workplace and what I intend on doing with this place. So let me flip this camera around and uh, show you my beautiful mess. All right, so I figured I would just uh, take a quick shot from outside the door. Like I'm walking in, as you see, outside, inside, so... All right, so this first wall right here. Okay, so all these totes pretty much that are in the back and everything, that's all pretty much books, magazines, and that's pretty much all that stuff in the totes are. Stuff on the top is mainly plush items, and that's pretty much what they are. There's some posters and stuff back there, but really what I'm going to do with this space this was one of my purchases while I was moving and everything, so kind of just got thrown in here. Still needs to get toted up, bagged up, shelved up. So right here in this little space, I intend on putting a table here. So when I buy something or buy lots, I can bring it out here and start counting and organizing it. And then same with over here. Uh, it's kind of kind of a mess right now. And this is the other corner. Try to so it, but all this stuff right here will be moved. This was another purchase that I've recently made. Didn't really plan on buying all this stuff, but uh, one of my estate ladies hit me up and pretty much gave me a good deal. But I'm gonna put on this wall as well a a table as well. So I'll have table there, 
and a table there and then another shelf will go into that spot so I should be able to count all of my stuff very very easily when I do start making my purchases and uh, so and then this whole wall right here we intend on pulling all of these totes off the wall a little bit so that there's about two three foot of space and we are going to line that wall with bookshelves and all of our really nice books will be going out on onto the shelves and everything so yeah all of that stuff right there is going to be getting pulled off shelves will be going on that wall and then let's see here so this middle aisle is going to be dedicated to all media it's not all media right now or all recorded media let me rephrase that all recorded media it's not that right now this is my recorded media pile it's uh it's pretty massive so but we'll have a spot in the middle for vhs's a spot for dvds a spot for records we intend on having like um a tote almost for every single letter uh, an alphabet for uh, the records because I just I have tons of records okay and then the back I got one of our tables set up there's gonna be actually two tables back here and this will be like the new recording station pretty much for new deductibles we'll get a couple lights in here and when we want to display items and just uh just this is gonna be the new the new you know workstation for us pretty much so that's going to be the counting station up there and then you know this is going to be where we're logging sorting figuring out what stuff's worth and everything so and then right here as you can see we actually got some shelves going up with just tons of items already filled on them and this wall is almost pretty much the way it's going to be Except uh, down below there's some plastic shelves and those plastic shelves will be getting pulled off when I get more of these heavy duty metal shelves and the plastic ones will be going more in the middle for lighter stuff like uh, board games because as you can see these work great for light items like board games. It's just jam packed with them. So if I can get those just also kind of in the middle. I know I said recorded media but there's going to be some other odds and ends off the shelves and everything as well. I just have so many stuff, so. But yeah. Show you guys my shelves and my diecast collections that I've been buying. The Boyd's Bears that I've been buying. Just. This is going to be it, guys. Alright, so I know that was some rambling and some ranting. But I'm just excited about this place. It might get cut down a little bit. Uh, we'll find out. We'll see. But uh, if not, I'm sorry for all the rambling and ranting. Um, but I'm just excited, guys, because I got some space to work in. It's heated. It's cooled in the summer. Nerdactables is going to be a thing. Hopefully this whole YouTube channel starts working out a little bit, and I actually have somebody to talk to in, in the future. All right, guys. So till next time.